What's going on guys, it's your boy. Today I have my bestest buddies here again. If you guys want to introduce yourselves. Yo, Prodigy, I'm here. Yo, what's up y'all, it's Loco. And we had so much fun doing the controversial fights video that we decided to do another video. And this is just sort of like, who could join the Akatsuki? And we, we sort of wanted to make like narrative arguments and then just who would look cool. Um, obviously the Akatsuki isn't as cool as Karma. Karma's just a better Akatsuki. I wish one day oh we get. <laughs> yeah, so you know we're starting off with a banger. You, you know it's Kakashi and like uh, Kakashi like actually goes hard in the Akatsuki cloaks. Like he's sort of underrated. Like yeah, he's in that the was thumbnail. his like. The fan yeah. art goes hard. Yeah, man. Yeah, his fan art goes crazy. <laughs> Yeah, Kakashi actually makes a lot of sense to join the Akatsuki because, you know, his dad um, being like ostracized by like the Leaf Village when he was younger and like seeing his dad kill himself because the Leaf Village like was like so hard on him. So like he actually makes a lot of sense. And we were talking before that um, maybe like whenever like um, he sees Obito again and like Obito fights all the Leaf, like the, the mist joining and stuff like that he like joins up with obito and they go and like form the akatsuki and stuff like that and like fight together like double calmly like <laughs> it would go crazy it's like the bro, most op duo bro imagine imagine kakashi and obito working together with double calmly there's no jinchuriki in the world that could probably stand a chance even like naruto in like his sort of highest forms like double kamui combo might go crazy weird like the, it would be like some storm four shit it would... and like oh god they do some like combo moves or some shit like that bro and like me and prod we we've we've been collabing just in discord and like we've been chatting and, and whatnot not gonna cap we think kamui might be one of the fastest things in the series oh lord <laughs> yeah dude like like it gives kakashi some insane reaction time and so does obito like he's sort of like reacting to like rikido madara and, and like kakashi is like fighting with like some kcm2 level characters just because he has his manga yo like it, it's crazy what kamui can and, like do to people and realistically this wouldn't make sense obito hates kakashi Kakashi is not that type of character, but if it were to happen, like if, if it would go so hard and it would just be something that would just break the fandom. Like, you know how everyone's looking forward to Boruto having Kakashi? Imagine Kakashi just rocks up with an Akatsuki cloak with an Edo Tensei Obito. Shit would never be the same again. We were like talking like Kakashi and Obito pull up and they start knocking on Naruto's door and then like <laughs> Jiraiya is there with them. Like the series is over, bro. Like, it's I don't just know, over. man. Like Jiraiya can solo Itachi and Kisame. Didn't you know that? Uh, bro. All right, all right. If you think about it, they both have a Mangekyo charm gone. You think together they can like form a perfect Susano? Oh. <laughs> I don't know, She's man. Do it with one eye. Maybe? She yeah, can do it with one eye. I don't see why they can't do it together. They can like like fuse their chakra together and form like a fucking perfect Susano. Probably right. above moderate level to be honest. Yeah. They might go crazy. Might be the best duo in the whole series, but we can move on. Number two is Gara. Realistically, this doesn't make any sense. The Akatsuki are fighting Jinchuriki. Gara is a Jinchuriki. So let's just say he has all the powers that he normally has, but he just doesn't have a tailored beast, sort of like how he is at the start of part two. He goes so hard in the Akatsuki cloak, Gara. He literally looks like Sasori pretty much. And we see that throughout the whole series, Gara is strong enough to be in these sort of Akatsuki tiers in part one. I don't know guys, like is part one Gara fighting Hidan? Maybe, Maybe, dude. I don't think Maybe. I don't think that's a stretch, to be yeah, honest. Dude smoked Kimimaru, and I don't know, man. Like in the data books or something, it's confirmed that Gara gets like stronger when he kills people. So, if we have this like the Gara that is you know bloodlusted and he's getting stronger when he fights people and all that, he he might actually go hard because we know that Naruto does change people when he does his talk no jutsu. He most certainly does not get stronger after killing people in part two. So. I don't know, this this Gara might be smacking up the Jinchuriki just as well as like someone like Kisame. Like, Kisame can negate a lot of the Jinchuriki's kind of movement. And I think Gara could probably do a similar thing with just his sand alone. 
No, Gar is like it, like it honestly might go crazy, and it fits him because he's just he's just an evil dude in the part one. Like he's killing people in, in the tuning exams for no reason. Like, yeah. Dude is just straight evil. I guess moving on to like the third people on the list, we're like we're kind of like mashing two people together here. We got Haku and Zabaza, and like granted they are like the first fucking villains we see in the series, besides like what's his name like Mizuki, but fucking like Zabaza is like one of the seven ninja swordsmen of the mist and all that shit and honestly like he he goes fucking hard bro he might actually be stronger than fucking like juzo biwa who like if you if you all like remember like that was like itachi's like first partner in the akatsuki like the original dude before like fucking kisame joined yep. so like they both had the same like uh executioner blade and like zabuza and haku would just go so hard as a duo all I'm saying is that if any Jinchuriki tried to smack up Zabuza, Haku would blitz the Jinchuriki with his light speed mirrors and probably end their life. But again, this is like an out of character, weird fan fiction Naruto. But I don't know, man. Yeah. Like, those two in the Akatsuki cloaks might just go crazy. The the thing about Haku is that he's still relevant even in the war. Like Kakashi still gets blitzed by him. In the war, this is War Art Kakashi, the bro who squared up with Tendo Pain, you know? Bro, is Haku yeah. blitzing Madara, dude? Cause like, Haku has that light speed attacks, dude, and Madara's like high vaults. Like, Madara's like best attack is like fucking Light Fang. Right, so I don't know, man. Haku might be dodging Light Fang like pretty easily. No cap. Nah, that, that Zabuza amp that Haku gets is like sort of crazy. Like, that might be the best amp in the series. That, that's like better than Sage Mode. Yeah. Yeah, man. So like, kind of like the weird fan fiction that we came up with is that like maybe instead of like Gato hiring Zabuza, like maybe the Akatsuki did it instead for whatever reason. Maybe there was like a Jinchuriki in like the village that Naruto and Team Seven were traveling to, and like maybe like Zabuza was there to like hunt down a Jinchuriki, but then he comes across Naruto instead. And the next one we're gonna do number four is Kimimaru. This dude is trash when he's sick and he's degrading. He's now obviously Gara is not trash, but I mean, Gara, what he did to Kimimaru was filthy. <laughs> Lee sort of fights him straight out of the hospital, and he and he didn't like why he wouldn't have gotten stronger. Like you can't convince me that Lee got stronger since the tune-in exams. Nah, he did get stronger. He he drunk some sake. He got yeah, stronger. I mean, base Lee, yeah, you know. Um, Bro, he really, had that drunken fist now. Oh yeah, he goes hard. But I'm really thinking mainly about healthy Kimimaru. Now, Orochimaru joined the Akatsuki. Maybe Orochimaru's teammate could be Kimimaru. That might be crazy. Kimimaru is just... Edo Tensei goes a long way for the characters that are sick or old. Like Hiruzen and Chio and Itachi. Like those sort of characters. And I mean like... Kimimaru apparently had more potential than Sasuke and was the, the vessel that Orochimaru really did want at the end of the day. Physically, like just his hands and just his ability and with his curse mark, without sickness, Kimimaru might go crazy. He was like revived in the war, right? And he was like fighting alongside like people like Granny Chio against the samurai, right? Yeah, and he like, went pretty crazy. So he's like taking on like armies and like the Akatsuki in the data book somewhere it's like the Akatsuki are basically like one man armies they're able to take out like entire like units of shinobi and stuff like that so Kimimaru is already able to take out like a bunch of like Jonin level plus samurai so Kimimaru definitely deserves a spot in the Akatsuki and like apparently yeah. the the mission like Konoha crush would have been easy easy with Kimimaru and his health Whatever that means, whether or not you think like Kimimaru was going to fight alongside Orochimaru, I think that's what was m meant in that. I don't know, but that seems more than likely that Kimimaru was going to fight alongside Orochimaru because why else would he say that? Bro, imagine yeah. like Kimimaru is more useful than like the first and second Okage's, oh, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no shot. <laughs> he just fights heroes in while Orochimaru is chilling. <laughs> like watching and laughing he's like licking his lips in the background he's like yes i can't wait to have his supple body <laughs> i mean that <laughs> might be consistent if you think that like kimimaru can dodge kcm naruto maybe granny chio is like kcm naruto in the war too it's uh, weird sasori is kcm naruto um the two tails is kcm naruto level you know 
Just saying. And part one soccer it might be too. So. I don't know, man. Oh, Hagoromo is apparently man. out of Versal, so maybe we're scaling Naruto a bit backwards. Oh yeah, man. We don't want to talk about that though. <laughs> Moving on to the next person on the list, we got Donzo. And like a lot of people like like to downplay Donzo mainly because like everybody fucking hates him. He's kind of like an asshole. He is an asshole, bro. He's actually you know, an like, underrated character. Honestly, I, so, I am yeah. I am a Donzo apologist. Like, I yeah, should man. make a video talking about, like, how Donzo is actually one of the greatest characters in Shippuden. He's but, perfectly uh, but written for the series' <laughs> purpose. Donzo technically didn't have, like, the like the actual, like, hacks. Or, I mean, not the hacks. The fucking, like, AP to, like, actually, like, hurt the Susano or do anything to Sasuke, really. But the Izanagi and, like, the, the 10 to 11 minutes of just, like, intangibility, so to speak. Like, he just cannot fucking die during those minutes. And, like, he's, like, basically immortal. Danzo in character, if we're just, you know, going with the theme of the video, he would be a spy, intel man. But if he really had to square up with the Jinchuriki, I don't think he would quite match up pound for pound, but maybe through just sheer hacks, he'd be able to take out sort of like the trash ones. He does have with wood style. He's, oh, true. Maybe the wood style yeah, would be. And he does out. have Kodo. Oh, true. He oh, he has Kodo. Fuck. This man is actually cracked. He's actually perfect for taking mm -hmm. down Jinchuriki if he has wood style and he has a decent mastery over it. Yeah. His version of Kodo, I made a video about this, but his version of Kodo like might be sort of trash because it's like Shisui's it's Shisui's like other eye and you could like argue that Shisui's the one that Itachi has is way better. But like he still has like a version of Kodo at the very least and like he might go crazy, but like his character overall really fits like the Akatsuki's like like a whole vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like him just like making these dark decisions for the oh, leaf village that that the whole kage don't want to make and stuff like that he really fits their vibe so like didn't donzo like beat up shisui who's like scaling <laughs> to like itat like 14 year old itachi level who's also threatening like uh <laughs> yellow mask obito yeah, man. who like contended with minato genjutsu the nine tails and basically destroyed like half the fucking village i don't nah, know man that's... That's only if you watch the anime, dude. Dude, all I'm saying is that Danzo did better against Sasuke than any of the other Kage. Way better. That is true. Way better. Yeah. Maybe okay. that's a hot take. Well, I mean, like, the Raikage is a dumbass. Like, he went, he, he, like, bitch slapped Sasuke just so he had to, like, cut his arm off later. He was like, bro, this Amaterasu ain't shit to me. I'll still smack the shit out of you. Yeah, people still debating <laughs> the Raikage versus Sasuke when we've already seen that fight happen. Speaking of Shisui, though. Oh, yeah. We can get it. That's actually the next person on the list. So, uh, Shisui, like, we were, like, talking about how Shisui would join the Akatsuki. And, like, after Donzo, like, just sort of, like, jumps Shisui, he, he, like, goes to Itachi and they're talking. Instead of just committing suicide, he just joins the Itachi um, in, like, killing the clan or whatever. You know, Itachi can, you know, just whatever, however you want to put it, he could, like, convince Shisui to join him in, like, killing the clan. They would both actually, like, get, um... A, like a amp from killing the clan because itachi did and that's like that's like how he was so strong after he killed the clan and like shisui would still have the main version of kodo so that duo yeah, would go crazy bro and, like and they she, would go so hard and shisui as well like he died so young the thing about itachi is that he does surpass like the clan like he's implied to surpass fugaku and with his Mangekyo, he might be stronger than Shisui. Like, Shisui is 15 when he dies, and Itachi's like 21 at the start of, like, when he's introduced. So you give Shisui, like, an extra six years of training, and that bro is squaring up with anyone in the Leaf Village. Ex especially if Itachi's his duo member. How cool would that be? Like, you know the Storm 4, like, ultimate move? It'd be exactly like that, but on steroids, because... Obviously, oh Shisui has just grown up with Itachi. He's probably developed Kodo more. Like, he might and be able to And if he learns to know too. Yeah, exactly. He might be able to use that yeah. drill move. Like, might be smacking oh any Bijou, like, most definitely. That's like competing with, like, Kakashi and Obito. But again, that's if you think, like, this out of character Shisui and Itachi. Like, the, I, realistically, Nagato would be, like, 
they're both spies. Don't put them together. You know what I mean? But like, if it did happen, that'd be so cool. Imagine like Shisui and Itachi just like murder the whole Uchiha clan together. Like they don't even even like need to join the Akatsuki. Like they're just such a threat that they don't even like have to like like make a deal with Obito or anything like that. They just like <laughs> murder the Uchiha clan like like easy. It, and then like they they just go off in hiding, you know, and like if the the hidden leaf for the Akatsuki tries to come after him, bro, like Itachi got that Tosca blade and fucking Shisui got Kodo, like I don't know, who, I don't know if they're really doing anything, bro. They're they're really like the best duo. And, and like, if Itachi can scare Obito, Shisui and Itachi most definitely will be scaring Obito. I don't think he'd even be oh, calling yeah. the shots. Obito would be like, "What do you want to do, Itachi and Shisui? Where do you, where, where do you want to go? What what what's the plan?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> especially with Kodo, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, man, like, Shisui is, like, actually, like, overpowered. Like, especially, like, like y'all said earlier, if you want to go off the games where he has, like, a whole Susano and, like, a fucking drill bit. Honestly, like, we should have, like, seen more of fucking Shisui. Like, I would have liked for him to win that, like, Naruto pull thing. So maybe we Same. could get, like, more backstory on him. Maybe we could have actually seen, like, the difference between his, like, Mangekyo Koto Amatsukami eyes. But And we'd see Naruto yeah. kick his ass again. <laughs> or like the <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. <laughs> so next on the list, we got Hanzo the Salamander. Hanzo got kind of like fodderized by pain, but so did like a bunch of other people, including like Kakashi and Sage Jiraiya and like the entire fucking Hidden Leaf Village. So that doesn't mean like that Hanzo is like necessarily weak at all. Getting bodied by pain is not an anti feat. It's like 80% of the series would get bodied by pain. And it's only like oh, yeah. when the war arc starts that it's like, okay, well, people would start to beat pain now. Like he was like actually like beating like the base signing. Uh, granted, like they may not have been like, yeah, together, bro. So they have their like three times teamwork amp. He was still like had them on the ropes. Jiraiya had to like hold Tsunade up or whatever. And like Hans was just like looking down at him. He's like, damn, you guys lived? All right. This would go like so well with like the narrative because like he's like the leader of the Hidden Rain Village. So uh, that's where the Akatsuki was fucking formed, right? So like he could just like make a truce with like Yahiko and Nagato. Yeah, realistically, this would never happen. Like this is the most would never happen because Pain hate like the whole reason Pain even exists is because of Hanzo. Like, you know what I mean? It just if it did happen. It would go so crazy. Like, imagine Hanzo and, like, Nagato are Akatsuki duos. Hanzo can slap the sign in anyway, and Nagato yeah. is Nagato, you know? It, it, they might have an absolute baller duo. Um, Nagato wouldn't have to have that, that weak body. Like, Ooh, he would still have his, his main body, so, like, he would even go, like, more crazy than, like, the six spaz of pain. It would, so next up, we have the White Fang Sakamo, and I think this like also sort of makes sense because it was like right around when Obito, you know, the Third War, Obito's out there like recruiting people and stuff like that, and Sakamo like failed his mission to protect like his teammates. So it would make sense the like the Leaf being really mad at him and like sort of like forcing him out and like making him kill himself and stuff like that. So instead of just committing suicide he would just go join the akatsuki like obito Man, and like spot. sakumo <laughs> yeah and like sakumo his his lore is just so crazy um in the manga it says that the three signing pales in comparison to sakumo and like the three signing just they, they go crazy as we all know so like sakumo is like probably at least like hanzo level and obito while like talking to kakashi he's like oh who would win minato or the white fang so it's like mm -hmm. hinting at like the white fang being as like as legendary as minato and like we all know like what minato is about and the fact that like sakamo's name was so legendary that obito even sort of thought that maybe it'd be a good fight speaks volumes to what sakamo does now I wish we just got a Sakamo novel, like the Sakamo kind of um, won the pole. That would be good. Yeah, I was hoping for that. Bodying the three signing at the same time is definitely a Katsuki level. You know, you'd probably in that in that higher, it'd be in between like a Kisame and like Itachi range. 
Oh yeah, for sure. And with the Obito thing, it makes sense because Obito is being trained under Minato and, and they're in the third war. So Obito should at least like know what Minato is about. Like and just goes crazy like he's definitely seen minato fight like, at least a few times you know and like he still thinks that like sakumo and minato might be a good fight kishimoto gave us this minato level of character and he didn't even tell us anything <laughs> about him. yeah but maybe just with a twist of fate he is spiteful towards the leaf village and is on board with Obido's plan. Maybe that might happen. Next up, this is the second last one. We've got Shminkaku and, and Shminkaku, number two. These guys, whatever, like in terms of character quality, they're really boring. Um, we just put them on this list because apparently they beat up Toby Rama. And not even they beat up Toby Rama, they did it twice. We, we don't want to say that they would be really strong, but they would be really strong. And they're dumb characters, you know, they look goofy and they get beaten up by like Dowry and Ina Shikacho, but I don't know guys, like they apparently offed the fan favorite character twice. Apparently he's Jubito level, it's maybe Shminkaku and Ginkaku are Jubito level. But like honestly, like Ginkaku and Shminkaku, man, like they're honestly beating up Toby Rama, you feel me? So... That's that's already like Hage level at the very least. They're like kind of like half nine tails Jinchurikis, you know. They have like a nine tails chakra, and they have like those uh those weird Sage of Six Paths weapons too. That have like yeah. these weird abilities that I don't even remember. <laughs> Wasn't Tenten handling those weapons? Dude, wasn't she like going crazy? <laughs> maybe Tenten is stronger Tenten. than Minato because Minato's obviously weaker than Toby Rama. So maybe Tenten's oh, been. I think I think oh, we just yeah. found a scale to get Tenten above Minato. So there you guys go. Tenten's above Minato. There you go. Dude, I could see Afro in the comments right now as soon as we brought up Toby Rama. <laughs> It is like yeah, bro. Afro really loves Toby Rama, bro. I know he's mad right now, but um, yeah, man. Genkaku and Shimunkaku, they're definitely strong enough to join the Akatsuki, despite the fact that they're technically like Chinchuriki. But uh, we just wanted to add them on here. And you know, they're lame characters. I know they're so stupid, but they are super powerful, especially in their transformed states. The last one, the very last one, I know this one's lame as well, but we just have to talk about him. It's Naruto, the main character. Realistically, again, he's a Jinchuriki, he has the nine tails. Why would he join? We really want to talk about sort of base Naruto, like pretend like the QB isn't inside him. And we know that Naruto really should have broken bad at some point in the series. Like he has like him and Kakashi and you know, Nagato, all these people have like these horrendous upbringings, but they still stay true to their word. They're very strong characters. Naruto should have, you know, broken at some point. So, and, and this video topic has been done to death so many times. If you just look up what if Naruto, like Naruto with the Renegade and Naruto joins the Akatsuki, it, it shows up a lot and they have like thousands and millions of views. So it's, we just sort of have to talk about it. Yeah, like him, Kakashi, you could throw Gara in there there too. Like they've all just been through these terrible childhoods and like uh Gara actually might be a good teammate Ooh, with Naruto. That would be crazy. They both join at the same time or something. Like that that would go sort of hard, but um base Naruto with like if you wanna like count the Rasen Shuriken or like even give him Sage mode, like Especially if you give him stage mode, he would go crazy. Like, I think we all agree that he's he's bare minimum Kakuzu. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, dude. Like, maybe like the Akasi come like fucking ten years earlier than they're supposed to, while Naruto is like fucking sitting on that swing, right? And he's just like staring off in this like the fucking sunset, like depressed as fuck. Just kidding. And then him. like pain comes around the corner, <laughs> and he's like, bro. And he, he like trains him up to like a Jin Cherokee, like hunting other Jin Cherokee. And yeah. he like trains him to like use his power and shit like that. And like he becomes like a fucking father figure to him. 
Uh, and then they're like going through the fucking countryside just like fucking killing chinchuriki and shit like that bro like yeah naruto is pretty like it's just like a standard have to talk about him if sasuke joined the akatsuki as well like that'd be cool naruto and sasuke in the akatsuki cloaks trying to kill b that that might be crazy but naruto for a large majority of the series is pretty amazing you know what i mean he in in base he is pretty capable later on in the war arc, so if we have like that base Naruto, like base war arc sage mode Naruto, he would be putting in work, he might be slapping up the Biju, for sure. With his like abilities, and if he could like learn how to like use the Rasen Shuriken and in all of his clones and stuff, if he was like just a little bit more smarter, like a little bit more like his dad, with all of his abilities, like he would go crazy. Maybe he'd use the chains? Like would he be able to use the chain? Possibly. Maybe. Maybe that's the next thing in Boruto. That'd be cool. We we should probably also bring up like characters like Minato, but it's just like Minato's just so good and kind and such a nice person that sort of making him an Akatsuki member is a bit more of a stretch per se than even someone like Kakashi that should have, you know, gone nuts at one point or even Danzo or Hanzo. So We just brought up like two Kage. <laughs> yeah, but like yeah. <laughs> I mean, like the Hokage, because they're always like good, you know. Yeah. Toby Rama could be. I mean, we did bring up Kakashi, right? and yeah, if, except it's ran by an Uchiha, so he would not like that. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. who who do you guys think in the comments would be a good Akatsuki member? Are there anyone's anyone that we missed? Is there someone that looks good in the cloak? Because that cloak is drippy as hell. Like maybe we did miss someone. Bro, Rock Lee in a Kotsky cloak. Oh my oh, god. Oh shit, bro. With his alcohol, 1010, you know, Parkera, Loco, Parkera might be able to join oh. in Kotsky. Fuck Parkera. <laughs> fuck <laughs> Parkera. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Go check out Dude, Loco's CBR article. That shit was hilarious. In that video, he memes on Parkera. It was the funniest thing definitely go check out prodigy's channel help this boy get to 200 subs and obviously in the comments let me know who could join who's narratively implied and all that sort of stuff yeah man thanks for having us on again yeah, of course. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me on too. yeah like we obviously love doing these and you know we we've sort of made a few in the last sort of week or so and just get loco to a thousand subs get prodigy to 200 subs you know just subscribe to these boys and we'll keep doing it because we love doing it bro we got a collab coming out on my channel like it's coming out like real soon it, it'll probably be out before this video is out to be honest Definitely. so like we got the uh we got the signing assembled over on my channel you feel me yeah so i look forward to that video link in description and thanks everybody for watching and peace 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 Fucking hell, like, it actually might make sense, because, like, like, Dosu was, like, fighting that one, like, Jonin dude, right? I forgot his name, but he had, like, that, like, that weird hair thing. Oh, yeah. So, like, like, he should be, like, scaling to, like, Asuma, right? And Asuma, like, beat Hidan. So, like, I don't see why, like, fucking, like, just part one guard should just be able to wipe Hidan, like, easy. And plus, he's yeah. fucking slow as shit. All he has is that, like, weird fucking scythe thing. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that like random Joni like boxing with Kakazu? Like, I don't know. No, I don't know, man. Kakazu might what? be stronger than Pain, so like maybe that Joni would smack up Madara or something. Dude, that Joni is underrated. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> maybe he should be in the Akatsuki. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. he needs a raise. To be honest, yeah. <laughs> Make him Kage. Fuck. I think his name's. Our Aoda, o Aoba or something. Yeah, it's something like that, bro. But he goes crazy. Dude. That that man is fearless. Dude. Yeah, maybe bonus round Aoda or whatever his name is can join the Akatsuki. Maybe he'd be a better replacement for um, Kakazu than Hidan. You know. Honestly. <laughs>